This video explains how to configure an FTP server for uploading the files from the client machine as an anonymous user. So here I am having two virtual machines which is named as FTP server virtual machine then the second machine is client virtual machine. So the name of uh, this FTP server machine virtual machine is given as test 7 and uh, for uh, client virtual machine it is given as test 8. So the first step is you have to install the package VSFTPD then switch on the daemon using command ch kcnfig VSFTPD on then start and restart the service start the service so now FTP is started the FTP daemon is started then the next step is creating a group group add group add a group name red hat so after installing that packages by default a directory will be created group name ftp you can see that this is the default uh, directory for home directory for an anonymous user in the case of ftp so i am going to create a directory under this slash var ftp with name incoming incoming I am checking the permission of this directory slash var slash ftp slash incoming check the permission of this directory you can see that the ownership was root root this is the permission. So I am changing the ownership of this directory as root and group as red hat slash var ftp incoming. Then changing the permission as 773. That is full permission for honor, full permission for group and no permission and uh, uh, write and execute permission for others 773 slash var ftp incoming then the next step is editing the configuration file you have to open this file vsftpd vsftpd.conf you have to open this file then the first statement anonymous underscore enable is equal to yes then the second statement write underscore enable is equal to yes then you have to enable this line anonymous upload underscore enable you have to comment out that then the next statement is next statement is cs1 uploads is equal to yes comment out that then comment out this ch1 username that means on whose ownership the uploaded files should be so I am giving the ownership as for root user save this file then start reset the service vsftpd restart so service is started I am going to the client machine for verifying purposes I am logging as root user then I am using command ftp space the server IP address we have to, we have to ch verify the server IP address you can see that server IP address is 0 0.7 so I am using ftp space 192.168.0.7 so it is asking the name we have to give the name as anonymous then password no password ls you can see that there is an incoming directory so cd incoming the directory is changed now then uh, try to upload a file for example by default there is a file under slash root there is a file dot bshrc i am uploading this file to this directory incoming 
by changing the name as BASHRC. This is not working now. Directory is changed. Yeah, just we have to give a name like this only. Since we are we are in this directory now, incoming directory, just we have to give like this only. Put slash root slash dot bshrc then dot slash bashrc to indicate that we are in this directory. Now the file is returned to that incoming directory that we can verify from the server. So I go moving to the server, you can see cd slash var ftp pub var ftp incoming. This is the directory. And as you can see that there is a bash rc file. Then another example cd dot dot. Now we are in slash directory. Slash in the sense in the case of ftp it is var ftp. Then I want to upload another file slash etc sysconfig slash network then now we are outside the incoming directory so we have to give name like this dot slash incoming slash the name network it is uploaded we can verify ls so there is a file network so this is a method of uploading in the FTP server.